Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about RO Membrane Lifespan, how to improve RO Membrane's life in reverse osmosis plant. RO Membrane Lifespan, Factor Affecting the Life of RO Membrane, How to Increase RO Membrane's Life. Factor affecting the life of RO membrane, pretreatment, proper pretreatment of the seawater before it enters the SWRO membrane is critical to extending the membrane's lifespan. Pretreatment involves removing large particles, sediment, and organic matter that can foul or damage the membrane. Common pretreatment types are Dual media filter, dissolved air flotation, ultrafiltration. Operating conditions The SWRO membrane should be operated within its design limits to avoid overpressure or high temperature conditions that can damage the membrane. The feed water flow rate, pressure, and temperature should be maintained within the recommended range. A high start slash stop frequency, such as sudden pressurization and depressurization. There is adverse effect on the membranes which can lower the performance and the lifetime of the membranes is reduced. Cleaning Regular cleaning of the SWRO membrane is necessary to remove accumulated deposits and prolong its lifespan. Regular forward and reverse permeate flushing to remove small accumulated deposits. Chemical cleaning is the most effective method to remove fouling and scaling, and it should be done according to the manufacturer's recommendations. The greater the time between membrane cleaning, the more permanent the efficiency loss. Improve feed water quality. Proper pretreatment, the quality of the feed water can significantly impact the SWRO membrane's lifespan. Higher levels of contaminants such as total dissolved solids, TDS, chlorine, and other chemicals can cause fouling and damage to the membrane. Therefore, improving feed water quality through pretreatment, source water selection, or source water management can help extend the membrane's lifespan. Energy recovery devices the use of energy recovery devices can help reduce the energy required to operate the SWRO membrane and increase the membrane's lifespan. These devices can recover energy from the brine discharge and use it to pressurize the incoming feed water, reducing the overall energy consumption and operating costs of the system. Permeate flux optimization. Permeate flux optimization can be used to control the membrane's flow rate to help prevent fouling and scaling. This can be achieved through the use of software and monitoring systems to adjust the flow rate according to the feed water quality and temperature. Avoid chlorine exposure. Chlorine is commonly used for disinfection and can be detrimental to the SWRO membrane's lifespan. Exposure to chlorine can cause oxidation and degradation of the membrane material, leading to reduced performance in a shorter lifespan. Therefore, it is essential to avoid chlorine exposure by using alternative disinfection methods or ensuring that the chlorine is fully removed from the feed water when using ultrafiltration UF, as pretreatment before entering membrane. Operation Staff Training 
proper training of the staff operating and maintaining the SWRO membrane is essential to maximize the membrane's lifespan. The staff should be trained on proper operating procedures, monitoring, and maintenance tasks, including chemical cleaning replacing damaged or worn components, Properly trained staff can help prevent damage to the membrane and detect issues early to prevent further damage. Implement a membrane integrity testing program on regular basis. Conducting a membrane integrity testing program can help detect any damage or defects in the SWRO membrane. This testing can be used to detect leaks or tears in the membrane, which can cause significant damage if left undetected. A membrane integrity testing program should be conducted regularly to detect any issues early and prevent further damage. A membrane autopsies Conducting membrane autopsies can provide valuable information on the cause of SWRO membrane failure. Autopsies can be used to determine the root cause of fouling or scaling and help identify ways to prevent future membrane failure. Conducting membrane autopsies can also help determine the optimal cleaning and maintenance schedules to extend the membrane's lifespan. Proper cleaning procedure, regular cleaning of the SWRO membrane is essential to prevent fouling and scaling and extend the membrane's lifespan. However, it is essential to use the proper cleaning procedure for the specific membrane type and fouling slash scaling type. Using the wrong cleaning procedure can cause damage to the membrane, reducing its lifespan. Consider using antiscalants. Antiscalants are chemicals that can be added to the feed water to prevent scaling and extend the SWRO membrane's lifespan. Antiscalants can be effective in preventing calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, and other types of scaling. However, it is essential to select the appropriate antiscalant based on the feed water quality and operating conditions. Optimize the pH of the RO feed water. The pH of the feed water can significantly impact the SWRO membrane's lifespan. The optimal pH range for SWRO membrane operation is typically between 6.5 and 7.5. If the pH of the feed water is outside this range, it can cause damage to the membrane and reduce its lifespan. Therefore, Optimizing the pH of the feed water is essential to extend the SWRO membrane's lifespan. Monitor and optimize operating parameters. Monitoring operating parameters such as pressure, temperature, and flow rate can help optimize the SWRO membrane's operation and extend its lifespan. Deviations from optimal operating parameters can cause damage to the membrane and reduce its lifespan. Optimal operating conditions The SWRO membrane should be operated within its design limits to avoid overpressure or high temperature conditions that can damage the membrane. The feed water flow rate, pressure, and temperature should be maintained within the recommended range. Advanced monitoring and control systems can be used to optimize the operation of the SWRO membrane and extend its lifespan. These systems can monitor and adjust parameters such as flow rate, pressure, 
and temperature in real time to prevent fouling and scaling optimized the membrane's performance. Latest ultrasound technology fouling cleaning, use of ultrasound technology. The use of ultrasound technology can help prevent fouling and scaling in the SWRO membrane. Ultrasound technology can be used to break down and prevent the formation of biofilms, which can cause fouling and reduce the membrane's lifespan. Thank you for watching this video.